Welcome back to Brisk Bites. We are down at the bottom of the Brisk Tools page, which you can always find at bit.ly slash try brisk tools. It looks very sad, friends. We've come to the end of an amazing journey together. There's nothing after this one. We're looking at the translate text tool. We've seen little glimpses of this throughout our Brisk Bites journey together, but let's talk about how to just get straight to it using the translate tool from the create menu. I'm just gonna pop right back to that life of a bumblebee article we used in the last brisk. We've already done some adapting to this article. Um, we pulled it from the internet. We had it level the text for us. I even asked it to make it shorter, which it did for my students and it also chunked the text for us. So we've done quite a bit of work on this already. I'm gonna summon brisk. I'm going to go ahead and choose create to launch that main library of choices. And right here, I get the translation tool. I can tell Brisk I'd like to translate this document and I choose my language here from my selection of languages in the menu. Where I work here out in East County, San Diego, Farsi is one of the languages spoken by many of our students. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. I'm also choosing it because it happens to be one of the languages that generates from right to left. So let's just see how that, how that looks for us. So I can choose brisket here from the menu. We're just going to give it a minute to do its thing and generate. So you can see it's generating for us right to left in Farsi, chunking the text like it did earlier. A quick note here, translating all of our content for our multilingual learners is not the solution. In fact, it's not even doing them any service at all. They're in our class to learn academic language and to learn to speak English. So we want to be thoughtful and strategic about when and how we use the translate tool. Our students come to us, we see them for integrated language time, we may see them for designated EL time. So be thoughtful about how you use this. Translating directions can be a great way to help them get started on an assignment. Translating key vocabulary might be a great way to help them engage with background knowledge. This is a really powerful tool that's going to help you connect with your students. Just make sure that you're using it in a way that's providing instructional value while still supporting them on their language acquisition journey. Shout out to my favorite English language director uh, that I've ever worked with for helping me to gain some of that context on my own journey as well. So you'll notice it's done its first pass and then you still get that rewrite menu to go in and change anything that you might want to change or shift up. So thank you so much Brisk for thoughtfully including the ability to translate here. We will not see you back here for another Brisk fight. I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe stay tuned and see if anything happens after this brisk bite because um, maybe there's a little surprise in store if you're watching these chronologically. If you're not, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but thanks for tuning in anyway.